As oil continues to gush from the Gulf, Planet 100 takes a look at the most radical methods for cleaning up an oil spill. This is Planet 100. Welcome to Planet 100, I'm Sarah Backhouse. On today's special episode, after burning and booms are failed to deliver, we take a look at the radical methods being considered to clean up the Deepwater Horizon oil spill in the Gulf of Mexico. A five-storey, 100-tonne containment dome was deployed by British Petroleum last week with hopes of capping multiple oil geysers now threatening the Gulf coastline. The dome would have been the first to be deployed at such great depths, over 5,000 feet, but as oil washed up on the shore Sunday, it became clear the experimental method failed to control the oil leaks, primarily as a result of the methane ice crystals clogging the dome's funnel. Planes have dropped 150 gallons of experimental chemicals on the Gulf oil spill to coagulate the oil on the water's surface, forcing it to drop to the bottom of the ocean. But scientists warn that these chemical dispersants may have major environmental repercussions. While they help keep oil from reaching sensitive wetlands, they expose other sea life to toxic substances from which they may never recover. Hair has proved an effective way to sop up oil from water. A combination of hair and oil-loving fungi proved an effective way to help clean up the oil spill of 2007 in Coco Busan. One non-profit, a matter of trust, has just sent a shipment of 400,000 pounds of human and animal hair to the Gulf, which could soak up as much as 100 times its weight in oil. Nylon pantyhose is similarly effective, and Haynes is donating 50,000 pairs to form mats that work to soak up the oily pollutant. Another innovative solution currently being considered is the use of microorganisms that literally devour the oil. A Pasadena company has been in talks with BP about providing microbes as an environmentally safe and cost-effective way of consuming oil. The microbes feast on the oil for 30 days before dying. This final technology is somewhat premature, but authorities could consider mopping up future oil spills with NASA's aerogel. The NASA-created gel was engineered to capture comet dust, but it could have a more down-to-earth application by bonding with the oil in a lightweight foam that can float on water until collected. And that's the Planet 100 guide to cleaning up oil spills. Leave your thoughts or ideas on the Gulf oil spill on the Planet Green YouTube page, and we'll see you tomorrow for more environmental news.